I couldn't date nobody, man. I couldn't do it. I'm just not attracted to men that are attracted to men. That's just me, though. Would you date a faithful bisexual man? If you knew, if you can't just say, babe, I'm bisexual, but it's me and you right now. No, right. I can't. I don't, I'm not interested in it. I'm not looking at no men. I'm not trying to be with no men. It's just me and you right now. But this shit change, right? What if you see somebody walking down my rooms? I saw you walking. Would I yeah. date a bisexual man? No. Have I you ever not. dated a bisexual man? No. It, that would be an issue for me. I, mm -hmm. I don't. Just my preference is not to date someone who is interested in the same sex at, at times or sometimes on Saturdays, whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I want you to strictly be into me. What's up you guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your boy i and i'm back in this thing like booty crack as you guys can see by the title we are going to be talking about bisexual men um i don't know about y'all but i've been seeing i'm talking about hella debates on bisexual men bisexual women and i just want to talk about it no tea no shade i really want to get into it now before i get into everything i do want to say this video is not a video to bash any bisexual people or bisexual men and this is also not a video to try to convince you to date one okay this is a video of me voicing my unpopular opinions about them and what i think and also express what i've learned as i was doing my research on this topic because i also did research on what i'm about to talk about so without further ado if you are new here make sure you like comment subscribe show you both some support i really appreciate that and yeah let's go ahead and get into this video i don't want to get into the definition now, i did write some notes on my laptop because a bitch like me i forget stuff so first things first let's get into the definition of bisexual men so bisexuality is an attraction to more than one gender those who identify as bisexual feel a sexual and or romantic attraction to people of a different gender as well as their own now my point babes i want to say since i was younger to a couple of months back i felt like bisexual men it wasn't no such thing as them i felt like they didn't exist i felt like if you ever like had sex with a dude you were just gay like i just that's how, that's how i genuinely felt and I was doing my research or whatever, and that's not the case at all. Like, bi it's, bisexual men definitely exist. And not only that, I don't even know why I was thinking that because every dude that I took serious, they were all bisexual as hell. So it was just like, I feel, what's going on? What's tea? But no, the reason why I stood on that for a very long time is because if you look at it, <clears throat> I'm spitting. If you look at it, a lot of bisexual men, you barely see them dating women. You barely see that, right? And it was just like, why is that? Like, why y'all be on the gay side, but y'all never over there to go try to talk to the girls? As I was doing my research, I'm gonna put his video right here because he made a very good point. He said, the reason why you barely see bisexual men entertaining women or dating them is because a lot of women don't really be down for that shit. They don't want to put themselves in those kind of predicaments. And hey, I get it. A lot of women feel like just the thought of you having sex with another man, it just don't sit right with their spirit. And then turn around. And let a man bend you over. Ain't nobody bending me over. Oh, so, so you doing the bending. That's another reason why a lot of bisexual men don't even bother telling people, like, what's their sexual orientation. Because a lot of people feel like it's nobody business. And then it's just like, it just causes so much stress and, you know, a lot of circus stuff. So it's just like, I'd rather not even put myself in those situations. But... I commend the men who out, who's out here telling people what it is and what it ain't. At the end of the day, their points are valid. Even with the whole HIV and AIDS situation, I hate to bring this up because a lot of gays feel like, well, why you always, why people always bring this up? Because baby, it's our reality. It's, it's, it's the life we live. Yes, be safe, but when you have a man that's not vocally telling you that they've slept with men before or that they're into that, it becomes a headache, you know? But I still get both parties. I get where the women are saying and also get why some men just rather not even tell anybody and then another thing like i had put out this tweet a couple of months back or whatever just kind of expressing how i would never date a bisexual man again and now i look at back now i look back at that tweet now that i did my research i think that was like more, one of the most ignorant things to say even though i kind of made some valid points it's still ignorant because it's like end of the day every bisexual person is not the same if you get my judge like everybody's not the same but my experiences when I was dating these bisexual men, they only could see themselves marrying or being taken to the next level with a woman. Like when it came to me, when it came to just me being gay, it's like the only thing I was good for was sex. So it was just like, I had to move accordingly. And I felt like I wasted my time with these dudes because I felt like 
they their future didn't align with mine like that makes any sense it's just like why are we even doing this or whatever so that was my whole fiasco with that but my mind has changed like i've kind of i grew up babe that's that's not how i think anymore but i do kind of just wanted to put that out there now let's talk about biphobia yay the fun part we love biphobia uh we don't but <laughs> i'm just joking but the but the definition of biphobia is a dislike of or prejudice against bisexual people that's what it is okay now let's get to this question is it biphobic to not date a bisexual man and the answer is no it's not like let's just let's just talk about this topic because a lot of people i see it all the time on my tiktok a lot of bisexual men in particular they get so in their feelings when a woman says it's just not my preference i'm gonna tear my ass up for this one but i was asked for my opinion so here it is i had to ask myself honestly why i wouldn't date a bisexual man and a lot of reasons came up but i realized that a lot of those reasons were bullshit i said it's because i don't want to have to compete with men and women but if your man is faithful then there's no competition so that wasn't a real reason i said i wasn't attracted to feminine men but just because you're bisexual doesn't mean you're feminine but i realized that the real reason is the moment that i find out that you've been with another man i immediately get turned off which is why people say that it's rooted in homophobia because what's the problem with two men sleeping together and to that i would answer there's nothing wrong with two men being together there's nothing wrong with bisexual men i could love a bisexual man fight for a bisexual man party with a bisexual man but intimately it doesn't turn me on which is why i think it's a preference you cannot help what you're attracted to but you can show everybody respect there's plenty of women in this world that want to be with bisexual men however i do understand where the annoyance comes from because when a woman is bisexual she can be with a man or a woman and no one blinks an eye but a man they're not treated the same it's like why are you upset that a woman or anybody just doesn't want to date you like i feel like if anything Rejection is a blessing, ain't it? So it's just like, move on. Like, it is what it is, move around. At the same time, I get their frustration, but I feel like you you having a preference of not dating a bisexual man does not make you biphobic. Like the definition said, it expresses a, dis, a dislikeness towards bisexual people or you just you just being, you judging them. And I feel like just because I just don't want to date them, it doesn't make me, it don't fit in that criteria if that makes any sense. Like, I feel like, you only become biphobic if you express those things. Some women just feel like, you know, the whole cheating thing. They feel like it's a possibility you can cheat on me with another man. And I just rather not even put myself in those predicaments. Now, a lot of people, a lot of bisexual people feel like, well, why are you even worried about a person cheating on you? Why are you worried about a person cheating on you with another, another man of the same sex? And it's just like, baby, everybody should be worried about that shit. Cheating is very common in the straight community, in the bisexual community, in the gay community, everywhere. Cheating is very common. You might be watching this video right now and you got a significant other and that motherfucker probably cheating on your ass and you wouldn't know. But it's just like a lot of women just rather for you to, they just rather not deal with that. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just being honest. We got to be real with ourselves. Like we just really have to get the difference between having a preference and just being biphobic. Now, I reached out to a lot of beautiful black women, women uh, expressed a lot in my personal life, and I talked to them on social media, and I wanted them to tell me how they felt about it, and I'm throwing some clips. Hey guys, my name is India, so to answer that first question, would I ever date a bisexual man? I personally say no, because um, the sassiness would just be off the wall. Like, I'm very sassy, and I like to talk shit, and that's how a lot of gay men are. So, I know we'll be bumping heads. Secondly, I feel like um, I just personally like more dominant men. I'm dominant myself to a certain extent, so that's another reason. And my last reason is I feel like it's a higher risk when you like both genders when it comes to diseases and stuff like that. And like everybody should be safe, everybody. So it, it doesn't really, you know, just pertain to them, but I know it's a bigger risk when you like both genders. And yeah, I ain't judging nobody. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my preference. Really, um, I wouldn't date a bisexual man. Um, I don't have anything against women who do to each his own. I just feel like personally me, um, I look at it as a expected heartbreak. I feel like you would open yourself up to this man. And I feel like he's still in a stage, a point in his life where he's still exploring what he would, you know, want to be with or what do he really like. So I feel like down the line, it'll be fun with a female, but I'm um, being that, you know, you already explored that sex and you 
open with yourself, you accepted what you like, I feel like later down in the line, you're gonna go ahead and fully just like that one full-blown sex, which is, you know, men. Honestly, <laughs> me personally, I wouldn't. Only because then that means I'm gonna have to, I'm not gonna say necessarily feel insecure, but watch you around both sex. You get what I'm saying? Like, temptation is a hell of a thing and everybody fucking knows that. So I feel like if you go both ways and we are in a crowd full of people or we are going somewhere, it's more likely for you to either get attracted to a woman or a fe like a a male or a female. So now I'm sitting there like, well dang. It's one thing like you can make yourself look better, you can try to be better than another woman, but you can't with a man. You know what I'm saying? Like cuz if a nigga likes a man, he's going to like a man. I can make, I can be the best I can be, be beautiful. That's still not gonna compete with no dick. <laughs> now there's nothing wrong with bisexual men. I feel like, you know, maybe if it was someone that already has, you know, their shit together, knows what they want and is strong minded and actually driven to the point that they're just focused on you and their relationship to where temptation from outsiders wouldn't even be an issue. Then probably, yeah, possibly. Because, you know, it's like, at the end of the day, everyone like what they like. You can't control what someone's liking at that moment. You get what I'm saying? But, like, if I connect with a person, if we vibing, then you being bisexual really has nothing to do with me. Until you do something to show me that you fucked up. But other than that, yeah. But if it was just off rip and somebody be like, oh, I'm bisexual and... I would be like questioning it, maybe giving it second thoughts, but it, like I said, it depends on the person, if I feel it, the energy connection or not. After hearing them, y'all, the majority of them said no, of course. It was only one person that said they would, but um, and <laughs> I was trying to tell these girls, like, please don't try to change up your answer because I'm gay. Like, don't do that. Be honest, be, you know, be authentic and express how you really feel. And I, I, my main reason why I wanted to put this out was because I just wanted you guys to hear from different black women, different women in general, with their perception on bisexual men. Or with when it, no, not their perception, but just their perception when it comes to dating them. Like, would they ever do it? So that's why I did that. Thank y'all so much for, you know, just recording for me and putting it out there. Is it even worth dating a bisexual man? And the answer is yes, of course. It is very much worth it. At the end of the day, you're human just like I'm human. You just like both sexes and that's perfectly fine. Well, I'm, and I'm speaking from my point of perspective. Me, I think it's worth dating them. And would I date one? Hell the fuck yes. Um, Not to be inappropriate, but they know how to fucking do it. I'm not even trying to be inappropriate. Fuck it, I mean, y'all know I'm gonna throw a little, a little, a little stump in that child. But um, yeah, like I, I would date one. <laughs> I would date another one. Now, I would have boundaries though. You know, I told y'all about the guys that I've dated before, prior, how they were by, and we just kind of didn't align. I feel like now I would, we would have to align with like what we want in our future, what we want in general, but we'll have to align to that. If you don't meet me on what I want, it's not gonna work. And that's just that on that. Now, to wrap up this video, I do want to end this video with videos of I'm gonna call it the voices of bisexual people, and I want you guys to hear them out. Like, I'm and at, at the end of the day, I'm still not trying to convince you to date them, but just hear them out and listen to them. Like, listen and take notes, and just be understanding about it. If that makes any sense. Like, don't be a person where you just like you just wanna like I don't want to do that, but you don't want to learn or hear from them or whatever. So, um. Whoever watches this video, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, please feel free to check out my Let's Talk Gay playlist. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. I love y'all and peace. Have you ever felt judged about being bi? Of course. Like, I, I feel like I feel judged by the straight community and the um, gay community or the lesbian community. I've, I've dated lesbians that have been funny about me dating, dating men. men. Mm. And I've been with men who are funny about me dating women or look at it as a um, fetish kind of type mm. thing. So I have dealt with that. But for me, if I'm with a woman who's bi or a man who's bi, I'm not really concerned about about the other. So you hold your own. Yeah, I mean that's that. The person's with you for for you, and it's who you are. It's not about your sexuality. 
And if you are open, obviously that helps. If you're closed, then you kind of have to like figure out a way to be com com confident in your relationship, I guess, is the best way. I mean, trust is everything. And I mean, what you were saying about, you know, being insecure, I mean, that's, I think that's the main thing about biphobia is people think, oh, because you're bi, you want to get with everyone or, <clears throat> but it's not about that, it's about the mm. person. Um, mm. You know, straight people cheat, gay people cheat, you know? So, mm. so yeah, it's definitely about the person. It ain't a question. Oh, it ain't no one for guessing. No.